Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Demi. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with the Milani Gilded Floor Collection. If you want to get the tea on this collection and whether or not you should purchase it or not, then go ahead and keep watching. so i just went ahead and did the brows off camera just to save time let's talk about the collection so the collection comes with an eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like um typical milani palettes it kind of looks the same as their other palettes um it's nice and small and compact it's not too big so yeah this is um it comes with the mirror inside and this is what the shades look like this is not this will be like my second time filming this video because the first time i filmed it i did not like the footage i didn't like the way the eyeshadow turned out and i just wasn't really satisfied with the quality of the video either so i just went ahead and decided to just film it again and this time i have um a different image in mind on what i want to do and what colors i want to use in the palette because i think the colors i used the first time it just wasn't like meshing well together pretty definitely spring vibes and spray this is the Milani Make It Last Flora Scented. So it's floral scented, lip tinted, or tinted lip balm in the shade 190 Flora. Picked up one of the colors in the lip um, collection, which is in the shade Peony. This is how it looks. So yeah, super pretty. Really excited to use this collection. Um, and it came with, it also came with like a lot of other things, but I just picked up the ones that I felt would be um that i would test out for you guys so um it came with some lashes i personally didn't like the lashes how they look like online they look pretty but um when i went to walmart by the way i did get this stuff from my local walmart so also you can guys can find this on the milani website for the whole collection for as a bundle for 35 dollars. let me go ahead and just do my base right quick that is technically it for the face start off i'm going to be using this lip um balm and I'm just gonna see how it is. I'm pretty sure it's tinted, so let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Smells really nice. Smells like literally fruity, but like florally at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. So it does have a nice tint of color on it. I feel like the more you squeeze out, the more tinted your lips will be. I just only did a little bit because I do have the lipstick for later, so I don't want it to be, I don't want it to alter the color. It feels really nice and moisturizing, so I definitely um, like this so far. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the eyeshadow. So I'm not sure which colors I want to go out with. Um, I think the yellows look super pretty, but I do like the purples, and I'm wearing purple, so I think I should just go with purple. <laughs> but I feel like I just did a purple look, so... I might just go ahead and showcase I don't know I, I feel like I want to do both but I don't know what do you guys think for my transition shade I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here called best bud I'm just gonna put that all in the crease so far it's performing really good the matte shadow not mad at it. I'm going to take this purple right here, Orchid, or Orchid, Orchid. <laughs> and in the palette, honestly, there is like a little bit of fallout when you, or kickback whenever you place your brush in there, but it's not like horrible. It's not like chalky. And the shadows perform really well as you can see so it's not doing that bad of a job going back in with that best bud shade to soften up the edges and to blend those two shades together for the lid i think i want to do i'm not sure if i want to do the gold should i add i want to definitely want to play with the shimmers so what I'm going to do is take, let me swatch it right quick. So this, this is um, in full bloom. This is what that color looks like. Super nice. 
like purpley shade. I think that looks really nice. And forget me not, this one right here. This is like super purpley. I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I'm definitely gonna take this one, the in the full bloom shade. So I'm just gonna take that on the outer corners right here first, or like in the center mainly. I have to end up using my finger because I think it was more pigmented that way. Let's see. Yeah, that's better to just use your finger. Inner corner, I'm going to be taking, I don't know what shade I want to do, but I definitely want to do, let's go ahead and swatch it because I think that would be best. I don't want to mess up the look. So this shade right here, it looks super nice and golden. That's how that one looks, super pretty. We have this one, that one was petal to the metal. This one is Botanist. Ooh. And we have Busy Bee, nice yellowy shade. Ooh, it looks super nice. And then we have Bouquet or Bouquet. Ooh, that one looks really nice. I think I'm gonna use this one, Bouquet. Ooh, I really like that shade. Okay, this one is definitely more glittery than In Full Bloom, but it's not horrible. It's like, it's more of like a loose glitter. The other one was like a pressed, like a, a shimmer basically. Okay, so that is basically it for the top. The bottom, I might go ahead and use the golds and for the inner corner as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add some liner and lashes so yeah um the lashes and liner is done i'm gonna go ahead and brush this under eye powder away this is a morphe m437 brush i just really love how the under eyes look with that concealer and that powder duo Let's go ahead and do the under eyes. So for the under eyes, I'm thinking about doing one of these. I don't know. I don't think the yellow, I'm not sure if the yellow is like super pigmented. Oh yeah, it is. It's like a pastel yellow, but I'm not sure how it will show up um, on the under eyes. Um, I don't know what I should do. Should I just stick with the purple? Or should I try one of these browns? I feel like the brown will look really nice. This is a Morphe flat brush. This is the m410 i'm going to be taking the shade salt of the earth and putting that on the under eyes yeah i just the first time i used this palette i played with the yellows i really i didn't really like how it looked because i did place it on the lid with the purple but I just didn't look how I didn't like how they look together. So if I I would say that I would use the yellows like in a whole separate look and the purples in a whole separate look. As far as far as using the colors together, I don't know. Maybe it was something I was doing wrong, but I just didn't like how they look together. So yeah, I'm really liking how this brown looks under the eyes though. For the inner corner, I'm going to take this shade right here, um, which is petal to the metal super pigmented and I'm going to be placing that in the inner corner in a little bit right here that's super pigmented and then I'm going to take the shade botanist I don't know how to say that is it um I know it has something to do with flowers but I don't know how to say it um so I'm just gonna take that shade put it right there in the center with that petal to the metal shade remember these shades are like super glittery so it it does have like i do have a lot of glitter like under my eyes right there but what i'm going to do is just take my um micro smooth powder in a blender and i'm gonna just dab it under like so just to conceal that a little bit of that glitter I mean, I don't mind. Sometimes I think it looks cute if it's like a 
a um, monotone glitter like a gold or silver then sometimes I like look cute if it's like if it falls on the face a little bit it just looks like specks of glitter on your face but if it's like a green glitter or like blue then I'll be like okay no like that's why I do my eyeshadow first normally so yeah this is how the palette looks it's like I don't know if you can see but there's a lot of like kickback and powder on the palette but um I don't mind it doesn't bother me it's not like super like something that I'm not gonna be like oh I'm not gonna buy the eyeshadow palette because of that you know it doesn't like bother me a ton for highlights I'm going to be taking the Milani highlighter duo this is in the shade spark plug I'm going to be taking this shade right here so this is a cream and a powder this one is the cream one and that's the powder one I'm gonna be taking the powder one just highlighting everywhere that I want it to be highlighted go onto the lips so it looks like this like faded a little bit I don't know if it's because I mean my lips still look tinted obviously I don't know if it's because um it's been a while and but they still feel moisturized obviously so for lip liner I'm going to be taking the Juvia's yeah. Place Luxe Liner in the shade brownie Now for lips, I'm going to be taking the peony shade from the collection, placing it right in the center. Yeah, it looks super nice. This color is nice. I'm just going to add it to the center because I don't want to over take the liner. And I don't know how bright this gets. Like, I feel like it gets super bright, so I don't want to overdo it. By the way, this formula is super creamy. If you guys have not tried the Milani lipsticks then you need to go ahead and try it it's definitely like a satin finish super velvety as well to set my face i'm going to be taking the make it last flora setting spray mm, smells really good it smells like flowers <laughs> so yeah i'm just going to be spraying my face with this okay guys so that is basically concludes my video on the milani gilded flora collection i hope you all enjoyed um, I really enjoyed the eyeshadow palette, even though it does have like a, a little bit of kickback. I do enjoy the mattes and the shimmers in this palette. Um, Milani has really good quality anyway, so I wasn't even shocked by that. I feel like the setting spray as well. It's a nice floral scent, and it does feel like it locks my makeup in. I really like the lip tint. I felt like it left my lips really moisturizing and hydrated. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Um, it smells really nice as well, so that's a plus. I really enjoyed the shade Peony. I know they had a few other shades. But I really enjoyed this shade. It's super creamy. It doesn't feel dry. And it feels super moisturizing on the lips and comfortable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you picked up this collection or if you would pick it up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. See you guys in the next one. Bye.